We're here above the Villa Marina Colonnade to our side there and overlooking the gardens. Keith Simpson is with us. Just distantly in the background, you might hear the words they're playing, and that's what we're talking about today, Keith, because you are the man behind the whole season, which is about to get underway here, of words of performances. You also have a great passion for that bit of musical kit in there, which is pretty amazing, yeah? Yes, very much so, yes. Although I started off as a classical organist uh, many years ago, and my degrees in uh, church organ this is a very different instrument indeed it's uh, it's a very rare example of a, an original wheel it's uh, it's uh, 90 years old this year it's never been messed about with it's been restored to its original condition by len roll who's done a, a superb job and everything you hear on it on c is real there are no amplifiers no speakers a lot of mechanics going on behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. very much so, yeah, yeah. You'll hear um, sounds like a xylophone, and then when you look through the window, you'll see the little hammers go up and down on the xylophone itself, so there's nothing nothing electronic about it. So this season starting of, of concerts, which you organise, I know you're on yourself quite a bit, and you've got people coming in and all sorts of stuff, haven't you? Yes, that's right, yes. I, I myself am doing one concert on the 10th of uh, July at 1 o'clock here. Uh, the free concerts, the charity concerts, in aid of local charities, and each of the organists have been asked to choose a charity for themselves. Uh, so they go on uh, for 13 weeks in total until the end of September. And then right at the end, we have Len Rawl, who's rebuilt the organ back again, to do a special concert of a silent movie accompaniment. And that should be interesting. That's an evening concert. Uh, Will there be a, a film playing? Uh, <laughs> yes, there will be a, yeah. a, a film playing, and he'll be accompanying the whole thing on the on the Wehrlitzer organ, which, of course, is what the organ was designed for. Um, mm. Very often people equate the Wehrlitzer organ, don't they, with the sound of Blackpool Tower Ballroom. But we tend to forget that it wasn't really designed for a ballroom or for, for that sort of dancing. It was actually called a theatre organ to begin with and was used in the theatres in the UK and America in particular and the cinemas as well to accompany the silent movies. So it's a very versatile instrument. It can do lots of sounds. It's uh, amazing how there were obviously were lots of them and then they got chucked away but a lot of them in, and this one has made it through and survived. Yes, that's right. I'm afraid during the electronic age which may have started in the 70s electronic organs did take over quite a lot and then of course over the passing of time a lot of the cinemas closed down and the theatres no longer needed the, the organ. So we're very lucky to have this one here in the Isle of Man. Now, for some people, it may be a bit, big secret they didn't even know we had a Wurlitzer because it's not obviously in use all the time. Uh, so it, it works well in this, in this location. And if people want more information about your concerts, where can they find that information? Yes, well, they can come to the uh, Welcome Centre at the Sea Terminal and pick up a leaflet which will list all the concerts or at the ticket office here um, across, across the garden there yeah. at, the, at the villa. Um, the leaflets will show all, all of the players for this year. We've been very fortunate because the Arts Council have, have uh, embraced this event and done some of the publicity for it. And they've asked us, as friends of the Isle of Man Realitzer, to put together a number of players for this year. Let's hope it works.